the Springboks will look to make it two from two against the All Blacks when they take on their old rivals at Ellis Park tomorrow. South Africa claimed a comfortable 26-10 win against New Zealand last weekend. The box are currently putting the final touches to their preparations at the Ellis Park Stadium. We now cross to our colleague, uh, journalist, sports journalist, Tabiso Sitole, for the latest. A very good morning to you, Tabiso. How have the box preparations gone uh, for tomorrow's match? Good morning, Des. Good morning to our viewers on SABC News Channel. Well, what can I say? The whole week, SABC News have been covering the box, and not only the male box, but the women's box team. They're also playing on Saturday. It's expected to be, well, Ellis Park is going to be up in song come this weekend. The ladies play at 1 o'clock as somewhat of a curtain raiser to the men. And like you said in your intro, obviously the Springboks wanting to make it two from two. As I step out of shot, this is the bus that the team travelled in to Ellis Park this morning. A short while ago, we were at the training session on the field here in Ellis Park. Unfortunately, after 15 minutes or so, we had to excuse the men as they put the final... Well, Dot, dot the I's and cross the T's, so to speak, because there are, of course, some secrets in the far as preparations concerned for that big clash against New Zealand. But in short, you rightfully said, Desri, South Africa looking to make it two victories out of two. We've seen six changes to the Springbok squad that was announced, I think it was on Tuesday. Thereafter, that's Bongi Bonambi sustained an injury during training session. He was replaced by Joseph Dweba a couple of days ago. So we expect somewhat of a new starting, well, front row, not newish, but if you look at the caps, you're looking at something like 66 caps, I think, between them because I think, uh, yeah, Dweba's got two caps, so he's expecting to get his third come Saturday. So a lot of expectations from the Springboks, rightfully so. They have been winning, and when you beat the All Blacks, I can tell you this, a lot of people saying it's the World Cup they were interested in, yes, but beating the All Blacks probably tops beating the, well, winning the World Cup any given time because these are the arch rivals of South Africa since, what, 1928 when we played our first match? South Africa winning that one 17-0. The closest, well, the biggest other scoreline was the one that we had two weeks or last weekend rather in Bombella beating them 26-10. Desiree? Well, after such a dominant convincing display last weekend, there's a danger of complacency creeping into the box game. How will they guard against this? Look, I don't think that the guys will be complacent at all. I mean, this week we did a press conference two days ago where Magazole Mapimpi was there and he said, look, as well as Kwaka Smith we spoke to, and they said, look, we can't, uh, you know, hark on the fact that we beat New Zealand last weekend. Every Monday we come in, we throw that result under the bag. Although we won that match, there's still plenty to do. There's plenty to improve on, which is what they wanted to do coming into this match. And they hope that they had made those improvements. We know that there was a lot of frustration, particularly on the New Zealand side. Ian Foster, after the match, saying, ah, oh, South Africa playing, well, a boring game of rugby. That's what he said one stage when we played against the Lions, but we beat them, didn't we? We said we played a boring game of rugby, the high game. That's what they say they're complaining about. But if it works for us, why not? Keep it going. And Magazol Mapimpi saying that strategy won't change if you you need to get under the New Zealand, the Kiwis skin, and if it works, it works because at the end of the day, results will come. Because I can tell you, Desri, it will not take too long for New Zealand to actually break this run of losses, three losses in a row. I think they've lost five of their last six matches. And once New Zealand break that rut, they'll be come back. Well, a lot of people saying all they need is one game, and this could be it maybe against the Springboks. They'll become the New Zealand of old, the New Zealand feared world over. So they are due for a big one, and hopefully it will not be against us as we prepare for this last match. Then we go over to Australia and Argentina for the rest of the rugby championship. Des? Now, like you're saying, the All Blacks have lost five of their last six tests have they lost their air of invincibility that they once had That's a tough one. You can never uh, uh, write off the All Blacks, can you, Desri? That's what I'm saying. It's, it'll be tricky for the Springboks or any world team to ever consider that the All Blacks are there for the take. And yes, right now, they could be struggling. Take nothing away from the performances of Ireland, who beat them as well at home a couple of weeks ago. The Irish are playing good rugby. They're not number I think they're number one in the world right now, in terms, as far as the world rankings are concerned. New Zealand, they're down to fifth in the world rankings, a place that I don't think anyone would have ever conceived New Zealand being so low in rugby world rankings. And I do not see them staying down there too long. And with the Rugby World Cup coming up and Ian Foster under pressure, because there is talk, Ian Foster might get, get the boot if he loses this match. But those Kiwis, one for one, you can take any one of those players. He is a world beater on any given day. So 
we expect them to break this rut, Desiree. Whether it's with, uh, this game against the Springboks, and I don't think it's going to be an easy game at all. I don't think that the Kiwis will, will lay back down on this one because they know that they're under pressure. The fans at home are under pressure, well, putting them under pressure for victories. So I expect them to come out firing this weekend, and rightfully so. I mean, Stephen Kitchoff did say so as well during the week in the press conferences that we had with them. He said they're expecting another brutal fight up front to the, uh, as far as the All Blacks are concerned. And sooner or later, the All Blacks will get back to their world dominating fate. But in the meantime, let's strike while the iron is hot and beat them as much as possible in any game they will face. Des? And Tavi, so of course, that big question, uh, crowds all over the world getting used to getting back to the stadiums. Do we have an indication in terms of ticket sales, just in terms of how many South Africans are coming through or, or how many supporters are coming through, not necessarily South Africans? <laughs> well, yes, most of them will be South Africans, I can guarantee you. Let me tell you this way, Des. When we got here a short while ago, we went to go pick up our accreditation. Already, we cannot find parking. Normally, what happens with these matches, the Ellis Park precinct is kind of, you know, it's locked off. We saw it during the Confed Cup, during the, uh, uh, before the World Cup. We saw it during the World Cup. You, there, there's layers of, 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 what can I call it, of, of protection that happens. There's layers of, of, of segregation, if I can use that word, apologies, if it's probably the wrong word, that you have to go through to get to the stadium. We don't have parking as it is for tomorrow's match, so we most likely park a kilometer or so outside of the stadium venue. We saw what it was like in Bombella last weekend. Over 42,000 fans came down on that stadium. Ellis Park is a much bigger venue. I think it seats about 56,000 or so. So we expect that to be capacity crowd. And yes, the fans have missed having live rugby games. In fact, I think Bombella was the first rugby game that the Springboks had played at home since the lockdown happened proper. In fact, if you remember the Lions tour last year, there were no fans, and they played in this very stadium as well. They also played in Cape Town. There were no fans. So last week was a huge game for the Springboks. And the fans in Bombella Cups, their numbers, I mean, who can miss, well, if you remember correctly, the singing the, the rendition of that national anthem is probably the most powerful we've heard in a while. Ellis Park, the crowd are literally on top of you if you're down on the field. So we're expecting a resounding rendition of Gosse Sigaleta when it happens. We expect it indeed, Desi, to be a capacity crowd when the Springboks take on the All Blacks around 5 past 5 tomorrow afternoon.